I'm straight up gonna put subtitles because I don't even know what I'm saying. Have you ever had a dream that you're chased by a giant monster and you try to run only to realize your legs are cemented in place? Me too. Hi, I'm Zmei and today we're talking Zmei, I hear you asking why don't you make a video on an actually relatable topic like global warming or Barbie versus Oppenheimer conundrum. Well, I'll tell you why. While I was talking to a lot of my friends and asking them questions about the craziest dreams they've had, it kind of inspired me. And it's always really fun to listen to them talk about that. So let's begin. So dreams, what are they? Whilst dream science has gone really far, and we actually do know what happens scientifically in our body when we dream, the actual meaning of dreams is lesser known to us. But we do have some leading theories. Problem solving comes at number one. Number two is processing our emotions that we have throughout the day and overall in our lives. Then we get to reenact our deepest and darkest desires. And lastly, is premonitions. Our last one's kind of iffy. But while we wait for science to catch up with the actual meaning of dreams, let's talk about some things that we do know. Now in our last video, we asked you to ask us some questions on dreams, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of those. The first question comes to us from Soggy Pancake 2 and they're asking, are humans the only one to dream? Great question, Mr. Soggy. Scientists say no. Now we cannot ask a cat or a dog if they're dreaming, but what we can do is observe their brainwave pattern when they're sleeping. Scientists have shown during their REM phase, they have similar brainwaves to humans, suggesting that they too dream. But due to a lack of research, it's unclear if only mammals share this unique property or if other participants of animal kingdom like lizards and birds might have it as well. Now this one comes to us from the real Neil deGrasse Tyson. Hello, Neil. I'm a big fan. And he is asking, when do dreams happen? Now, simply put, we have two distinct phases while we dream. The non-REM and the REM. Rapid eye movement phase. N1, 2, and 3 are the phases that come before the REM. And altogether, these three subphases can last anywhere between 35 and 75 minutes. And then after that, we're gonna transition into the REM phase of the sleep, where most of the actual dreaming is gonna occur. And during that phase, some weird things happen to your body, so let's talk about those. First, the hug. Welcome to Dream Express. Your REM phase will start shortly. Make sure your arms and legs are tucked safely inside of the ride at all times. Please remember to keep your seatbelts on and your plushies hugged tightly. You will experience high brain activity similar to wakefulness. Your body will go into a temporary paralysis and your breathing and heart rate might become irregular. This ride will last anywhere between 20 and 60 minutes and in case of nightmares, please follow the arrows on the floor to the nearest emergency exit. We would like to thank you for choosing Dream Express and enjoy your ride. What was that? Anyways, we have another commenter coming in. Uh, this one comes to us from Double Bunny 7 and they're asking, I don't remember my dreams. Is this normal? Well, Mr. Double Bunny, there are many medical and sleep conditions that can affect lack of memory retention during sleep. Conditions like aphantasia, the inability to picture anything in your mind's eye, is a common example of one. Or it could be that you just have poor memory or are easily startled upon waking up. Some people just don't dream. So Double Bunny 7, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Now we have one last comment from this section before we move on to video calls. Yes, we do have the budget for video calls. This one comes to us from Iron Deficiency Girl and she is asking, what is sleep paralysis? Now, as we all know, neurons in the brainstem release two chemicals, glycine and gamma aminobutyric acid, that stop the signals from motor cortex being sent to the skeletal muscles. Your brain paralyzes you so you don't act out your weird fuck. Well, sometimes it can happen that we experience a poor transition between the REM phase and the wakefulness, which will cause those chemicals to still work while we're awake. And for a few minutes after, until those chemicals effects wears off, you're gonna be paralyzed. In other words, you're awake, but you can't move. Creepy, isn't it? Now we've officially entered the state of sleep paralysis. 
here's what to expect. They're gonna forgive me, but I'm gonna have to read out this part because it is a bit complicated. So, we have inability to move despite being fully conscious, muscle weakness and heaviness, difficulty breathing, hallucinations of vivid, disturbing and frightening nature, often involving seeing shadowy figures, hearing strange sounds and feeling of presence in the room. This is followed by a feeling of emotional distress, fear, terror or some sorry sense of impending doom um i is it is it me or is it getting is it getting cold 